hundreds of points available today. I'm going to walk you through the top trades and show you the logic of why they were the best trades. So you can start applying this in your trading tomorrow. Stay tuned and I'll walk you through it all. Welcome back to Day Trade Like a Pro. It's Monday, March 16th. This is the S&P 500. We're looking at the June contract on a five minute chart. The way this works, the blue candles are down, yellow candles are up, and that's the way I have my charts colored. Let's see, bottom line here, we look for the market. The blue lines are going to be more important than the orange lines. That's basically how it goes, and that's a rule of thumb. So that's the, we're looking for these lines that are in the blue lines. Those are going to hold up the market a little bit more. So we're going to do something a little bit different here today and might just carry this through all the way forever. But what I want to do is I want to walk you through the top trades of the day and maybe the top two to five trades each day and then explain the logic behind why they were the best trades. Now, that doesn't mean they're going to be the biggest winning trades, but the best trades. In Mike Bellafori's book, One Good Trade, he talks about making one good trade and then one good trade and then one good trade. So um, I'm going to walk you through, for me, what were the top, maybe today, three to five trades, and we'll just start with that. So, of course, we opened, we gapped way down, and then, so we had the limit down overnight, then we had the limit down this morning, halted, and then opened and looked for a minute, like we came about 11 points within having the 13% limit down. That didn't actually happen. It came up here, we pulled back down to here, came back up to here. And at that point, if you were a buyer, I think the first really great trade of the day would have been a buy right down here. And you can see that we had been down here, we'd been back into this area. And you have to think about in areas when the range is 300 points, you can't be thinking this tick or that tick, it's gotta be that at that area. So it's going to be more like within points than it is ticks. So we come back into this area, really use that, and then we come back up here, and then we come back down here. This seems worth trying at long, because if they use this to go long at 2418 area, they're going to, they've got a long ways to run. We'll talk about that in a minute. If they don't use this to go long and it starts going short again, we easily can come back down to this area because they haven't been back to retest it after we broke above it here. So above here, we've got a long ways to run, 40 plus points. And, oh, sorry, 140 points. Uh, maybe not quite that much, 130 points. And below here, we've got at least a pretty good sell off down to here. So that's 18 down to 80. So at least 40 points down here, 130 points to the upside if they can get at least to the top target up there. So here's how this plays out. You're long here, and then what we're really looking for, I'm going to pull this down here so we can see. We started the selling and never came back to any of these prices over here. So we've got a lot of prices we can come back and retest. First area really to be paying a lot of attention to would be if from this long, we're looking up to this area right here. We're above, as soon as we get above this CP, these blue lines up here, we're able to push up to there. That's just kind of the next target. And then if you notice how far away these prediction points are from these, there's a big gap in between here. So this would make this a good area to pull back from. So here's a long from 2418 and the target is, let's just call it 2508. That's a 90 point trade right there. So there's 90 points. And then this would be a very good area to short because there's such a big gap up to there. It's a little tricky because we could only come back into this area, but we could come back 
into here, no problem, and retest one of these areas. So we only get the pullback from 08 to about 74. And still we pull back about 30 something points. And then they start holding it up and then they push all the way up to here, which this would really be when they can't break below here. So I'd be sure as long as they can push down below here, but if they can't push below here, then we want to get long and really here or here or wherever, we'll just use the higher one, 2491 up to 45. And so there you have that one that's about 50 points. So we have the long over here. Sorry, we have the long over here for 90 points. We have this long for 50 points. So that's 140 points. We'll just call this one a scratch. It was up 35 points. And then really a short up in here. And if you even waited till right here, this was even better. It came down, traded up here. Really great short opportunity. We haven't come back to any. We could easily come back into here and test that. So we've got all the way from 45 back down to, we'll just call it here, which was 91. So another 50 points. That's 180 points on this on these moves, on these three trades right there. And then really tough to pass this up over here. You could have shorted it here, but then it came down and ended up coming back up. So would want to be short again up here. And basically, I mean, this works within a tick or two. And why I like this short right here is because if it doesn't work to go short here, the next target's going to be way up above over here. So minimum minimum up here maybe all the way back up to there so if this doesn't work we've got like an 80 point target up here that we could go see so really worth the risk of trying it uh short right here to see if we can get a push down through here so here we have a short right here from 09 and then really the target on this would be back down to this area, minimum back to this area. So 09, and we come all the way back down to here at 43, that's like another 50 points. It's 200 and I'm losing count, 230 points on those, I think four trades. And then we came all the way down here and really the next, uh, what I think would be the next really best opportunity was when we traded over here we held here. This would be a decent buy opportunity. We held over here. Decent buy opportunity from 43 up to this area at 79. See if you can get 30 points or something. More of a scalp in these kind of markets. And then a short right here. And why I like the short right here is we tested. We came up. This is very bearish right there. We came back up here. That's a great short. And the target is really down here because we haven't been back to retest these since we broke up above it. And so that's really the target. So short from over here at 2479 and it ends up going 100 points. And you could have taken some profit down here and re-added on a bounce up to there and gotten that down there. The same thing right here. Got so there were just a lot of opportunities on that move down, but we'll just call that one move and it's 320 points on those few trades. So today, the way it worked out is, you know, I'm not trying to just pick out, well, what if, and if you have questions about, well, why wasn't this a good trade or why wasn't that a good trade? We can go over that and feel free to shoot a message with that and we'll answer that. But this would have been a really great short opportunity and it only worked for 30 points. And so it's not, um, you know, it's not just about picking out, well, where did we get the biggest runs from? This would have been a great short opportunity for a move lower, and that just didn't come to fruition, but it did go 30 points. And then it just so happened that this short over here worked out for 100 points. So, uh, but if you say, well, why wouldn't this be a good, like, for example, well, why wouldn't we want to buy right here? Well, because we already used that earlier. We already retested that earlier. So we were watching this area and they came to here and they bounced up to there and then they came back through it and then they bounced a bigger bounce 
and then they came down here and then they couldn't get back up above here right here and this is kind of the dead giveaway they probe very bearish candle come back up there bam you got to be hitting that short if you miss that get it short there just tons of opportunities to get short throughout here the bottom line is you want to be short for this target down here for 100 points or take some of your profit here let it bounce and then hit it again at one of these and there's your next move down so hopefully that helps today got a little bit long try to keep it shorter in the future but hopefully that helps wanted to really break it down of why these are the best trades if you want to sign up for the live trade signals there's a link below here and we'll see you in the live trade signals tomorrow and happy trading and be safe out there